So I do something new in the mornings now. I've added something to my morning routine, something I never would have thought would make it into my morning routine. And you know what? I'm fucking enjoying myself. I think this is a sign of maturing because I never truly thought I'd see the day. Also, sometimes in the morning, like Marty doesn't wake up right away, so I have like a few moments of peace, but today I wasn't granted with that luck. Um, Marty's screaming in his bedroom, which is really not something that I want to hear at eight in the morning that because it sort of like starts my day off on like an angry foot. This is my espresso machine. Every single morning I make an iced latte or a iced cold brew with oat milk. Now I've started to make hot coffees in the morning. <laughs> Not hot coffee, I make a hot latte in the morning and then I drink it on my balcony. How crazy is that? I need to buy mugs because I've recently picked up like drinking tea. I enjoy drinking tea. I'm drinking hot lattes in the morning and I have no mugs because that's not like a normal thing for me. So I've been using my like Chamberlain coffee glass cup because there's a, a Handle. I actually have to refill like the water thing on the back because I think it's like bone dry. I had two hot lattes yesterday, so I think I wore this thing out. Who's texting me at this hour? I don't enjoy like texting people regardless, but when they text me before nine in the morning, then I'm actually like mad at them. Isn't that fucked up that I like, I like genuinely, get, I don't express it to them, but like I genuinely get angry at people and I start to resent them more and more when they text me or call me. Cause if you know anything about me, I would rather not speak to anyone. I'm not saying that that's like a, a good trait. That's just how I am. I think I actually told somebody while I was drunk once, like if you don't want me to like end up resenting you more, like stop talking to me. Um, they probably asked, you know, then how are we gonna keep up our relationship? And I probably said, I don't know. Um, I love from afar. I use the Chamberlain Coffee Fancy Mouse Espresso Blend. It's amazing. I've actually never used anything else, so. <laughs> Nothing arouses me quite like watching espresso drain into, what? I discovered this almond milk the other day at Erwan. I've seen it before, I've never tried it. The Minor Figures Barista Oat with like the duck lady on the front. Well, she's in a duck costume and she's holding the duck head and she has sunglasses on. I don't get it, but I bought this the other day and then I woke up in the middle of the night, the same night that I bought it, craving a glass of milk. I needed a glass of milk. I came out to the kitchen. I opened up this container of oat milk and I fucking chugged it straight from the bottle. And you know what? I think it's the best oat milk I've ever had. I don't know why, but I was very satisfied while I was like naked in my kitchen, like chugging milk. So I just wanted to put you on. I've had this espresso machine for like over a year and this, these are like the first few days I've used like the steamer. See? Hmm. I was a barista for three years, arguably the best barista in town. And for some reason, I fucking loved that job. And you know what? It was like the most labor intensive job I've ever had. Probably like six months into me working there, they made me the shift supervisor and then my life was ruined. And my, I've complained about this before. I'm not complaining, but like my hours every day. And I was like, how old was I? I was like 18. No, I was like 17, 18 when I had this job. Um, my hours every day were five in the morning to 3 p.m. And on Sundays, it was 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I lived an hour away. And I was also going to college and trying to have a social life, but that quickly disappeared when I had this job because a few times I tried to like stay out late with all my homies because they'd like start hanging out at midnight. You know how kids are and I would just stay up all night and then like leave the hangout to go to work and it just didn't work. I already have FOMO for Coachella and it hasn't even started yet, so that's great. Um, here's my thing with Coachella. Here's why I'm not going. Today's Friday, it's starting in like, what, two hours? Oh, <laughs> should I go? No, no. Here's my thing with Coachella. Here's why I'm not going. I went last year for the first time and it was literally the time of my life. I don't follow the, not to sound like a pick me, <laughs> but I'm going to anyways. I'm not one of those influencers Ew! that goes to Coachella with a bunch of like work to do and brands to work with and outfits to create and makeup artists come over 
and pictures are taken and Instagram real I, I don't do that I went last year I wore pajamas every day I got wasted and I just ran around the desert and it was literally the best weekend of my life I had a fucking blast but whenever I do something fun like that I hate myself for a week afterwards and I just kind of wanted to avoid that this year I could avoid it in other ways because I, I know why I hate myself after those things but Coachella is quite a bit of social interaction so I I will not sleep for three days I will consume probably eight liters of Tito's and have the time of my life and but then I'll hate myself for a week afterwards so I'm just not doing it this year but I have FOMO like really bad right now I even had FOMO yesterday while everyone was like driving to Palm Springs I like wanted to die I do think it's kind of cool though because last year um, while I was at Coachella I was getting like TikToks on my For You page of like older people that were still in Los Angeles like filming that it was like a ghost town because everyone was at Coachella. I want to experience that. That's like my dream come true to like walk around LA and like no one's around. That's my dream come true. So I hope that's the case for me today. Maybe I'll go exploring and oh I could go to Air One and no one will be there. I've unlocked a new kink for myself. An empty Air One. <laughs> Cause it's not like I plan this, but I feel like whenever I'm already in the car or I'm already like on my walk to Air One for the day, it is like right after school lets out. So I get there and there's 200 children there. Ordering Hailey Bieber smoothies and running around taking selfies, being kids. But I just don't, they, they can do them, I'm not judging. I just don't particularly want to be around it. I'd rather be alone. I'm about to say my ick word for the um, purpose of this next upcoming statement. I just called my boyfriend for our morning talk and now I have to take my morning poop. I'll hold it. Ew, I hate that word. I hate that word so much. I hate that word so much. But taking morning shit sounds like... To say shit, to say I gotta go drop a log. I'm not saying that I'm gonna go drop a log, but I will be right back. I'm feeding the zoo. Um, I changed my shirt because I was on FaceTime with my boyfriend and the color black washes me out on iPhone. So if you're wondering, no one's wondering. I'm feeding my zoo right now. Um, I spared you the cat food because nobody wants to see wet cat food in the morning or any time for that matter. No one wants to see that, but I'll show you what Marty's eating because Marty eats better than all of us. So I'll show you Marty's little spread this morning. Steamed cauliflower and steamed broccoli, a chunk of the sweet potato quinoa patty from Air One, two chunks of cubed yam, four edamame pods, six blueberries, and two raw Brussels sprout, two raw Brussels sprout halves. I need to talk to you guys about something very important in my life. Okay, I have a new addition to my purse and things like this don't happen every day not just any day do i have like something new in my bag it's sort of like a long hiring process when i like add something new to my purse so like this is a big day for me i am a menstrual cup girly now i keep this in my purse this is the intimina ziggy cup 2 i literally keep it right in my purse this is what it looks like listen let me explain i was intimidated by menstrual cups for 12 years of my life i had no idea how they worked i was like how the heck am i getting that up there i I just didn't know. And then I got her in the mail and I decided to change my life, okay? It's literally so easy. It looks like this. You just squeeze it in the middle and it goes right up. It is so comfortable. Like, you know when you're wearing like a tampon and like it's not in all the way and it like comes out a little bit and it hurts so bad. That doesn't happen with these. You literally don't feel it. It is the most comfortable thing ever. They have different sizes based on like your flow. So I have an IUD, so I have a really light flow. So this is the one I use. They're just like so much healthier for you because these are made out of medical grade silicone, whereas tampons are like those weird chemicals and those gross fibers. Like we don't want that in 2023. They're so much better for the planet because these are reused whereas like tampons like you're literally using like thousands a year like nope we're not doing that you literally just wash it out when you're done you put it in your cute little pouch and then you stick it in your purse I just wish I would have seen like a video like this before so that I would have made the switch sooner because this has seriously changed my life and I am actually begging you guys to give it a try again I use the Ziggy cup too they have multiple different ones this is just the one that I prefer I'm gonna put the link to Intimina down in my description so you can click on that and give this a try if you want it will it will change your life I'm not kidding Give it a try and we can be menstrual cup stands together because I cannot stop talking about this to the people in my life But thank you so much in team enough for sponsoring today's video and helping me discover this wonderful magical 
little cup here. Thank you guys. I love you guys so much. And don't forget, I'll put the link down in the description so you can try it yourself. Love you. Back to the video. So I'm really pissed because I wanted like my guest room and like my guest bathroom in my new apartment to be like an office, a workspace, like a vibey, cozy room, you know? Sort of like a little haven, like a nice little room in here. But the bird cage is in here and the litter box is also in the guest bathroom because where else would I put it? Like I'm not gonna put the litter box like in my living room. Like there's nowhere else in this apartment that makes sense for it. So this room smells like a animal shelter. It's nasty all the time because of the litter box and the bird. And let's get one thing straight, I clean it every day. I clean this room every multiple times a day, if that, okay? But if I wanted to have this room be like the haven that I envisioned, I would need an in-house maid. I would need somebody cleaning pretty much 24 seven in here for that to even happen. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Cause now I basically just have like an extra room that I really don't use. It's like the animal's playroom. That's all it is. And it's like, I'm making my smoothie, my morning smoothie. Little has changed since the last time I taught you how to make this smoothie. So half a pack of the Samazon acai pack and then half of a pack of the coconut, frozen coconut from Whole Foods. I haven't been making my morning smoothies and it's been really upsetting because I think it, it, the second to last vlog, I went to like Erewhon and got all those wellness things. And I spent like a lot of money on this like metabolism powder that I thought was just gonna be like a clear, like unflavored powder that I could put in my smoothies, but it's chocolate flavored. So, and I don't drink anything that like wouldn't, that would taste good in so I've been making like protein shakes in the morning, but the protein shakes don't make me happy Like I don't want to drink a protein shake in the morning. I want a smoothie So I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. So I'm done with the protein shakes I've only had two I had it yesterday and the day before and it just didn't make me happy a scoop of this Cocoyo living coconut yogurt in the flavor pure So I guess that would mean no flavor like Two scoops of that five frozen strawberries frozen blueberries I don't know why I show you guys how to make this every week. It's always the same. Actually, no, it's changed slightly since the last time I've shown you. So this is, this is needed. This is necessary. A little half of a frozen banana. A scoop of sea moss. Me and Jordy, like, we'll buy these like large <laughs> containers of sea moss. We'll eat two bites and then it'll rot in the fridge. We've done this so many times. It's so bad, but you can't get a container smaller, a big heaping spoonful of sea moss into the blender. Sea moss is just so gross. Like I, I vlogged once when I was trying to like take a scoop of it and I gagged, like I actually visibly, physically gagged like three times. Like the texture is so, ugh. oh, it makes me angry every time I think about it. That's so good for you. So like we get it all the time and then we just can't do it. But I'm trying again because I'm gonna blend it into the smoothie and maybe you, I won't be able to taste it. Lots of peanut butter. Eat the remnants off of the peanut butter spoon. A scoop of vanilla protein powder. I use the Kos one. Hemp seeds. I still don't know what these do. I just love the texture of them. And they have like a nutty flavor, which I guess doesn't really matter because I put peanut butter in this anyways, but there's like fiber or something. I prefer coconut milk, um, but I never buy it for some reason. So I'm doing half oat milk and then I'm gonna do water in it too. morning I waste a glass. I blend up the smoothie and then I pour this into a cup that pretty much looks exactly the same. I don't know why I don't just drink it out of the blender to save myself a dish. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to drink it out of the... It's a perfect way to hide your sea moss because Lord knows I can't just like scoop it into my mouth. Like I will puke. So and it takes a lot to like make me gag. I don't just like gag all the time. I gag from sea moss, sometimes dick. And like once a year, if I like drink an excessive amount of alcohol with like no food in my system. But then I'm like projectile vomiting, I'm not gagging. So I guess it's different. I'm gonna deep clean my apartment right now. I clean every morning um, for like 20 minutes. I pick up in the morning and at night, but I'm gonna deep clean today because um, I feel like it. It's just really like, it's, it, it, uh, it's bugging me and I, I know I did it to myself, obviously. Like I love my animals, I love them so much I wouldn't trade them for the world. But having four cats and a bird, like 
no matter how much you clean, it really doesn't do anything. It's like almost like they follow me while I'm cleaning and destroy everything that I just did. So like when I do deep clean, it's that clean for like maybe an hour and that's pushing it. Between the cat fur and like them ripping apart my furniture and then the linties are getting everywhere. Colson sucks on all of my blankets so everything's always wet. Um, the litter box smells awful all the time because no matter how much I scoop it, it literally doesn't matter. Like the, the next one is shitting in it within the minute. Um, the bird shits everywhere. The bird pisses everywhere. The bird takes his food out of his bowl and throws it against the wall. Now there's food on the wall. The bird's like little linty down feathers are everywhere. Like it's just not like everything's destroyed all the time, which is like really upsetting, but that's what happens when you live in a zoo. Like. <laughs> Okay, I just deep cleaned the whole apartment and I cried pretty much the whole time. At least I got the two hour long mental breakdown over with and now I feel, I feel numb. <laughs> I don't feel happy, I feel numb. I made myself an avocado toast as celebration for having no tears left to cry. Ew. I tried like the truff hot sauce a while ago and I didn't like it because it wasn't hot enough. Like it wasn't spicy at all. So I got the truff hotter sauce and it's unbelievable. I put it on everything. I put it on everything. I made a cold brew with oat milk because I'm fucking exhausted now. I went to a couple gifting suites this week for Coachella even though I'm not, wasn't planning on going to Coachella and I also bought things online and it's all just sitting on the couch in a big pile. Um, so I'm gonna do a haul to get me out of my depressive state. I was just sitting on the couch for 30 minutes, really sad. There's a lot going on up there. Oh. So I needed to get myself up and I'm gonna do a haul and I'm gonna Shake some ass or something. I need my coffee. I'm like fucking exhausted. Okay, first I went to a Boohoo Man gifting suite, but when I tell you guys, it, it was a fucking like, it was a dog fight in there, okay? I pulled up maybe 30 minutes after this gifting suite started and I, I have never, you know the scene in Mean Girls where they're walking into the mall and Katie's like having the flashback of Africa and it's like all of the people just like, sort of fighting each other. That's what this gifting suite looks like. I was scared. I was in and out faster than my ex-boyfriend. I, I was in and out in mere seconds and I didn't really get anything because all the skinny bitches got there before me and took all of my sizes. I got socks. I got pink socks and I got cream socks. And then I really liked this dress but they only had it in a size large and I literally just picked it up anyways because I was like, maybe it could work. I don't think that there's a way in this earth that that could work, but I'll try it on anyways, just for fun and entertainment purposes. Hold on a second. Okay, that kind of looks bad. If this was altered a tad, not like I have the energy to go get anything halt, top, tailored, altered. If this was altered where it was like higher, it could work because it, it's sort of like, it's supposed to be baggy, so it could work. It's just, it hangs too low. Like it doesn't look right. And then I also got this um, this shirt. It is kind of cute, but I would never wear it. I, I can't picture a world where I would wear this out of the house, but sometimes I'm feeling crazy when I'm out at the store and I'm like, I'm gonna wear that. Something's gonna change up there and I'm gonna dress up in this slinky, Tiny little top, it probably won't happen, but it is cute. Okay, then I went to a White Fox gifting suite two days ago, I think, and the strings on my bag broke while I was there, um, but I, I didn't want to complain. So I was walking around. Why am I lying? I was not walking around like this. I handed it to my boyfriend, and he was walking around like this. So I was doing a brand deal with White Fox a few months ago, and I ordered these jeans off of their website, and they're the best jeans I've ever put on my body, without a doubt. So when I saw that there was a jeans rack at this gifting suite, I beelined straight for it and I got these. I do wish I got a size up. I just tried them on for the first time. They fit me. I just like my waist to be a little bit more givier. They're very similar to the jeans that I got when I was working with them. I love these. They're so cute. No way, I love these. White Fox has the best jeans. Why? Like you wouldn't expect, like if I was to like gun to my head, like, like where do you think the best jeans are? I would say like, I don't know, Abercrombie, like, like true religion, like I don't know, but the, no, White Fox, 
for sure. Oh, I definitely should have sized up in these ones because I literally can't breathe. Maybe they're supposed to be high-waisted. I got these jeans for if I'm ever up to a music festival again. I feel like they would fit in quite well. Or maybe even Nashville. I think that's what I was thinking of when I got these. Like, next time I go to Nashville, these would work really well because of the dangly. Sorry, I'm like swaying my hips in a weird way. My boyfriend also grabbed this. He left it here, so I'm totally trying it on. Look at this. He wants to wear it on tour to the one of the Texas shows. Um, oh my God, look at me. I look fucking crazy. Okay, so I saw these pants and what my mind immediately went to was like the clean cut Hawaii girls that like are always wearing these with like a little flowy tank and like an iced tea. And I like, I wanna be like that a little bit, so I got them. But like imagine like me in Malibu, like, like standing like this with like a little flowy tank, like looking off into the distance or something, the wind is blowing, the, 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 the pants are moving in the wind. I need to stop doing this. I can't, oh God, now they, now they won't stop. <laughs> this just isn't flattering on me in the slightest. It was sort of like a festival based gifting suite. That's why everything has tassels on it. Um, I don't know. It, I don't find things like this to be super flattering on me and it's see-through and you can probably see my vagina. So I saw this on the shelf and I was like, okay, if anything in the world would make me want to go to Coachella right now, it's this outfit, even though I would never wear it. This is giving me like Lauren Gibson vibes and I just can't pull that off. But for some reason, I just looked in the mirror and wanted to eat myself up. I love this. This is so Coachella. I was like that, I, I need to go now. All of a sudden, I didn't go. But if I was to abruptly pack a bag right now, theoretically, and gas it to Palm Springs, like this is the one outfit that I would take. I I'm gonna FaceTime my boyfriend because I look hot. I dropped my phone. Dude, I'm freaking I out. Dropped. How cute. You look, you look so hot. And then I also got, <laughs> um, the, I said, oh, I'm getting Marty an outfit. And, Cause that's, that's who this is fitting. But no, it's stretchy, I'll try it on. Okay, so I have this exact dress. Um, I wore it in Nashville when I was there for New Year's Eve, like one of the days of the weekend, but this one has a slit in the back. Not a slit, there's no fucking back. How cute. I just love these cause it looks like it's made for a fucking toddler and then you put it on and it like stretches and shit. There was also a stand at the White Fox thing with this brand called Baddest. It's like tanning products, which I've been trying to use my entire life instead of going in the tanning bed so that I don't, you know, have skin cancer when I'm older, but it has an express tanning mousse, a ultimate tanning mousse in ultra dark. I like that. A instant tan wash off body bronzer, a mitt for a applying applying and <laughs> glow drops for your face and body tanning drops it's giving me tanologist vibes i've tried every tanning product under the sun it makes me look orange it makes me look splotchy i don't like changing colors i love tanning beds don't go in tanning beds they're bad for you and then i went to another like gifting thing it wasn't like for a specific brand i don't think but i went to this booth i don't know how to pronounce that but that's the brand name and i got the cutest you guys, get a load of her. She needs her own moment right now. Look at this little bag. I never wear things like this, but when I saw this hanging up, I said, I, I need you, girl. I, I need you, girl. So, like, there's no way. Like, I'm, like, freaking out. And then I got this bag of, like, mushroom coffees and, like, matchas and stuff. It's from the brand Everyday Dose, but it's, like, mushroom coffee with mushrooms, collagen, and nootropics. So I got like little coffee packets and, and there's matcha ones too. The matcha mushroom latte. And I, I love, I love matcha. I love coffee. I don't know if I love mushrooms, but. Okay, so this part's kind of boring, so I'll make it quick. But basically I'm sort of in the process of trying to get rid of everything that I own and making like a basics closet because it's all I wear. I have so much clutter in my closets of like all of these like really cool pieces that I will never wear because I just don't wear things like that. I like to wear like white, black, and gray long sleeves, t-shirts, tank tops, jeans. Like that's just what I wear all the time. So I, I want like a, more of like a minimalist approach to my closet. So I, I'm starting somewhere. So I, first I ordered some stuff from Aloe. I got this just like long basic white shirt. And then I also just got a black one. Also for the entire rest of this haul, everything is a size medium. I'm more of like, I would fit better into a size small, but I like things that aren't fitted. I like baggier. Things, they just make me feel better, so everything is a medium. I got this like baggy white sort of like crop top thing. I have this in black already, so I already know that I loved it. It's great. 
It's great because it's not like, it's like cropped, but it's not actually the crop top, like no stomach is showing, thank God. <laughs> um, but it still gives that like cropped vibe. So, and then I also got this t-shirt in black. I already have this in white and you guys, it is my favorite t-shirt I have ever found in my entire life under the sun. Best t-shirt ever. I don't even really know why. It's just like so like, like lightweight, thin, like flowy, like flattering for some reason. Also, when I was ordering on Aloe, it was like, oh, we're sending you a free like luminizing face moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer ever. I was like, for free? You're sending that to me for, for, for free? I'll take it. So they sent me like a free moisturizer. That was fucking lit. Loved that. Okay, so these last things I ordered are from the brand Aturn. My two of my favorite YouTubers, Emma and Maggie McDonald, like rave about this brand for like basics. So I went on their website to order like a bunch of basics. It's so expensive. It is unbelievable. It's so expensive. I was like, this better blow my mind because if I'm spending $120 on a plain white long sleeve, it better like alter my universe. So I got this gray v-neck crop that I was wearing earlier. I got this black long sleeve, just like casual shirt, I don't know. I got this black lounge t-shirt. I got this black like muscle tank, but like the, like a flowy muscle tank. And then I also got it in white, the muscle tank moment. I got a gray lounge t-shirt. I think these have pockets. Nope, I was wrong. Why don't, why did I think, I think it was the long sleeves that have pockets, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I'm confused now. Another gray t-shirt, but this one has a pocket. Gray t-shirt with po with boob pocket. White short sleeve, white short sleeved v-neck. Black short sleeve v-neck. Gray sort of like long sleeve, but it's like also a hoodie, but it's like a thin hoodie, so it doesn't really count as a hoodie. And then just like two basic like camis, a gray and a black one, camisoles tank tops. Now I have an even bigger mess to clean up because I just ripped through all the boxes and threw everything on the floor. So now I'm gonna clean again and hopefully not cry. Maybe I can clean this time and not cry. I think I might though, cause I called my dad when I was having a meltdown earlier, but he didn't answer. So I ended up talking to my mom and my boyfriend, but my dad just called me back and I'm like, dad, I, the reason I called you was something I don't wanna think about right now cause I already kinda got it off my chest earlier, but I'm gonna call him back anyways. So let's see if I end up crying. Okay, I just organized like a section of my closet for my basics, which just made me so happy. As you guys know, I'm in the process of trying to get rid of all my clothes. This is just my first closet, okay? So this is, this is one of my closets and, <laughs> and this is my other closet. Um, this is also like maybe like six months ago or something, I went through my closet and I got rid of 11 bags of clothes, 11 full trash bags of clothes. I all donated to out of the, is it called out of the closet? I don't know. It's on Santa Monica Boulevard. I donated it all to there and I still have this much shit that I don't wear. So I'm in the process of getting rid of everything, but I just have like such emotional attachments to clothes. So I just hoard them instead of giving them away. But I love my little section of basics because this is literally all I wear. So now I don't even have to look for them. They're just right here. So in the middle of my m mental breakdown earlier, um, I walked into Marty's bedroom and he had tore up my beauty blender because I keep my makeup in there sometimes because that's where I do my makeup. Me and Marty like to hang out in his bedroom while I do my beat every day. So he tore up my beauty blender and I have an OnlyFans live to do later. So I need to go get a new beauty blender right now. But yeah, I was actually just on the phone with my boyfriend talking about this, the fact that I have an OnlyFans Live later. I, I'm really scared of OnlyFans Lives. I don't like doing them at all. This is only my third time ever doing it and I've had OnlyFans for like two years now. And I've only ever done two lives because I really, really, really hate them. I'm doing this one today with my boyfriend so I think it'll be, that's the only reason I agreed to do it because it's with my boyfriend so I feel like it'll be much easier for me and I'll enjoy it more. Cause like, Okay, <laughs> I'm very grateful for OnlyFans. It's the reason, it is It is basically, it is like 85% of my income. I am so grateful for it. I love it in that way. Like I'm so fucking, I don't even really understand, like my OnlyFans success is something that puzzles me every single day because I just don't understand how it's as successful as it is because my demographic on say TikTok and YouTube is 86% female, 86% female and 
I would say most of my audience on OnlyFans is men. Like, there's not a lot of girls on there. So it, it boggles my mind every day. I don't understand how I got how I got there. I'm so grateful for it, like unbelievably grateful for it. But OnlyFans is not something that I am passionate about. It is not something that I that I love to do. I simply do it for money. Um, just because like, I'm not a sexual person. You guys know this. Um, I'm not like, I don't act in a very sexual way. I'm not a very sexual person. And that's something that's like easy to fake in pictures and little short videos when I'm shooting for OnlyFans. That's easy to like, to fake. And it's kind of fun sometimes to like, play dress up and put on lingerie and like put butt plugs in and like moan on camera. Like it's like fun sometimes to do to like play a role almost, but it's different on live because it's like, it, it's, it's, it's real time. It's, it's you in person. So it's much harder to like fake. And so whenever I'm on OnlyFans live, I feel like I have to pretend to be this like, oh my God, I'm just so dumb and like you tense and like, you're so hot. Like, I feel like I have to act like that on live and like I sh I probably shouldn't feel that way because maybe they'll like me for who I am they probably follow me on TikTok and YouTube so they would probably like enjoy me just like acting like me but I just feel like they don't I feel like I have to act a certain way so I'm very tense and scared on OnlyFans lives um but I'm doing it with my boyfriend today so I'm a little bit less nervous. Maybe this is the conversation I needed. Maybe I should start acting more like myself on OnlyFans because that's maybe what they want to see. I'm not even kidding you guys. When I'm on live on OnlyFans, the two times I have, I'm literally like, like a push-up bra on, okay? Imagine me with a push-up bra on being like, oh my God, Josh, why would you see that? You're so fucking cute. Like my tits just like, I'm just so horny right now. Like whatever, I'm gonna put on a little walking fit and we're gonna go on a walk to the Grove because I have to go to Sephora and get a new beauty blender because Marty like ripped mine up and there's a new episode of canceled out <laughs> I'm so happy that canceled is back like I am over the fucking moon I have endless content of podcasts now, which is great because I I'm, I like to want to walk every single day But I, I I only like to walk if I have a podcast to listen to and it was getting kind of dry a little bit ago But now I so I listen to anything goes Emma Chamberlain's podcast and ever since she signed with Spotify She releases two episodes a week. So I have two episodes a week of that. I have two episodes a week of plan Brie uncut I have one or two of call her daddy Emma and Maggie McDonald came out with a podcast a little bit ago called love you bye So I listen to that once a week now and now I have canceled again. So I have endless content I'd be walking around town like literally 24 7. Okay, here's the extraordinary walking fit. The top is from Athletica and I'm wearing my Nike Pros. I Did you guys just hear my knees crack? That's what they do every time I bend down. They snap in like four different spots I'm gonna go on my long walk and listen to the new episode of canceled and I'm honestly so happy right now I haven't been this happy all day. Like thank God. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much I can't believe you to I, I hate when I say tune in it's so cringe, but I can't believe you guys tune in to like listen to me ramble or something. I love you guys more than anything and you truly mean the world to me and nothing makes me happier than filming YouTube videos for you guys and reading your comments and having a community. That's why I started social media so that I could have a community of people. It genuinely fills my soul up every single day. So I love you guys and if you want to get I just got so aggressive. If you want me to continue to make YouTube videos and not end up working at the gas station, Make sure to like and subscribe. Only if you want to. You don't have to. But it would mean the world to me. Um, okay, I love you guys. I hope you have the best morning. I hope you have the best afternoon, evening, middle of the night. Whenever you're watching this, I hope you have the bestest day ever. And I love you. I need to stop blowing kisses because it's getting weird. I'm like... No, I need to stop with the duck face because I literally can't stop doing it. I don't know why. But for the past, like, three months... It's all I do. Every single photo I take, every video that I take, everything I do, I'm always like this. Why? Why? I don't get it. Bye. <laughs>